Hello guys, what, you must be wondering what I'm doing with a clock and a funny setup. Today, we're gonna make a sundial. First, you need to tape four pieces of paper together. Now, so now what I do, so I've got this big glass bowl, but we don't really need to use it. We just put it upside down like this and we trace around it like this, just so. So it should look like a clock, like a big circle, like a clock, because we're basically going to make a clock out of the sun. It's very windy, so we just want to put four rocks on each side of the, of the paper, and just, and it'll be easier to put the flat sides on the paper, so this is what it should look like at the end. And also, choose a place where you think the sun will be shining most of all, because the earth's going to be moving, so the sun, so it might look like, so the sun will come soon from here to here. Okay, so we put a pencil or something that'll stay still in a cup, and then we use some rice to hold it, since we don't, if you if don't have any play or clay dough. It's four minutes to eleven, so let's just mark where I'm, where our pencil is now. Its shadow is over here. Uh, I wrote down the eleven, but remember, after you mark it once, it should never ever move. So the pencil should never move, and neither should the cup. Okay, so it looks like it's twelve now, and so let's just mark it with. So the shadow's over here. Let's just mark it. See how the hard hand, I mean, the shadow moves like a real hard hand in a clock? Also, we marked one o'clock. Okay, so we put our camera there for that for one hour, and now we put it into time naps, laps, so you can see it beautifully. Also, did you recognize how it's moving the same direction as a clock? It feels like it's an exact clock. It's called a sundial. This is how it looks from uh, 11 to 3. So, um, can you believe that a pencil, which never moved, shadow was once here, but now it's here? It, it seems like magic, but it's not magic. It's actually science. This is how they used to tell time in the ancient days. So when they had no clocks or no, no, well, time. So now you must be wondering, what causes shadows to form? Well, it's light. So sometimes, so look, now we have the sun. So the light's coming from the sun and it's causing a big area of, of just bright light. But then now, if I stand here like this, I'm blocking the light from coming to me. So there's this dark space, it's called a shadow. So if a sun's light wave comes here, let's the sun, light wave can't pass through the cup. So that creates a dark shade over here. That's the shadow. Or look at the pencil. The pen, the, the light waves can't pass through the pencil either. So it creates this dark space. Okay, you must be wondering why and how do shadows change position? Well, have a look at this picture. First, the sun is like this, and and so it's high up in the sky. But then it moves a little, and the dino shadow changes. Like that, it keeps on changing. That is how the shadow moves. Bye, I'll come up with a really interesting video next. And... If you're wondering, these are the rocks I painted. Ooh, this guy's Sonic.